What is going on guys, this is Daniel, and I've talked a lot about offenses in the past including the Spurs motion offense and the triangle offense, and I thought I'd take a look at maybe an even more dynamic offense if you have the right personnel, which was the mid-2000s, 7 seconds or less, up-tempo, pick-and-roll heavy Suns offense. All the clips I'll show you are just from one game, so let's get to it. The Suns were led by head coach Mike D'Antoni, who here is angry as usual. The Suns of course had Steve Nash, and I think it's important to have an unselfish point guard in this offense. Sean Marion was a great athlete, and that helped him thrive in this up-tempo system. They of course had Boris Diaw, a great passer. Scoring guard Leandro Barbosa. And while every player didn't have to be a shooter, it certainly helped having guys like Tim Thomas and James Jones. The Suns were actually missing quite a few players, and here Amari Stoudemire you see is injured, Kurt Thomas as well, and Rajah Bell was actually suspended for this game because he did this to Kobe the game before. It was no secret the Suns wanted to fast break at every opportunity, and if you turn it over against them, it's over and here the Lakers do and Ash can walk into a 3 pointer. Here you'll see Nash push it up the floor and the Lakers never stop ball and Nash can go in and get fouled. Off a Laker miss here, watch how Marion will pass it ahead to Barbosa. This is crucial, it doesn't have to be a pass for a layup, but keep it moving and you'll see Boris Diaw cut down the seam and get a dunk within 7 seconds. Watch here how Nash will aggressively push it ahead, receive a screen and roll in transition, and find James Jones for a wide open 3. Notice here how Nash doesn't always have to dribble it all the way up, he can advance it to Marion, who receives a screen and roll and scores before the defense is set. Watch here how Barbosa makes a simple pass ahead to Marion, who gets a driving lane because of it, and there's Diaw cutting down the seam for a layup. And if you played the Suns, you obviously have to get back on defense, and here comically, four Lakers don't, so Nash simply passes it ahead and they get an alley-oop to Marion. And watch here, even on a made basket by Luke Walton, the Suns simply push it ahead, they attack before the defense is set, and Boris Diaw can drive and kick out to a wide open Leandro Barbosa for an open 3. Watch here how Kwame Brown will make a nice post up move and score. Wow, but even more impressive, the Suns quickly push it ahead, they get it to Barbosa before the defense is set, which means there's no help side defense, and Barbosa takes advantage. Let's move on to the Suns screen and rolls, in particular the reads the Suns players make, and here Barbosa sees Kobe go under the screen and roll, so he hits a wide open 3. Off a made basket, Barbosa quickly comes down and flows into a screen and roll, and here Kobe goes under this, so Barbosa gets a wide open 3. So, if an on ball defender goes under the screen and roll, the read is to simply take the wide open shot. Watch when this happens here, look how open Barbosa is. That is as good of a shot as you can ask for. Again, Kobe goes under the screen and roll, but Barbosa doesn't take the open shot, and he turns it over. But most of the time, the on-ball defender goes over the screen and roll, so Nash doesn't have an immediate shot. The next read he has is Kwame Brown. Does he step up to guard him, or stick with the rolling Marion? Here he drops very low, sticking with Marion, so Nash makes a layup. Watch out here, Roni Turioff steps up to guard Nash, so Nash simply makes a nice pocket pass to the rolling big man. Again, Kwame Brown goes to stop Nash, and he could pass it to DL, but he'll notice two weak side defenders crash in on DL, so he drives and kicks to a shooter they were helping off of. It's all about making the simple play, and here when Brown steps up on Barbosa, a simple pass to Tim Thomas gets a layup. Here, two Laker players will double team or blitz Nash at the point of attack, so he simply makes a pass to the rolling Marion. Nash and Barbosa were also very adept at attacking sagging big men and scoring or drawing a foul. 
So, here are some of the reads Nash makes on a basic screen and roll. He first reads Brown coming up to stop him. So, he could deliver a pass to Dio, but he also has to watch the weak side defenders if they crash in on him. If that happens, he can also kick it out to a shooter like we showed you earlier, or here he simply attacks Brown for an open jumper. Watch here how Nash blows by two Lakers, but just can't finish. Okay, right here, this is a critical concept. If there is a wing or a big man on the same side of a screener rolling off a screen and roll, he must come to about the foul line. This makes it very difficult for his man to help on the screener and guard him. And here, James Jones takes advantage. Let's get to a few more examples on screen and roll reads. And here, Nash sees that Brown has stepped up to guard him. And he sees Odom is a bit late rotating weak side, so a nice pocket pass gets DL a layup. Again, the sagging big man comes up to stop Nash, and he sees no player rotated weak side to stop the rolling Marion, so a simple pass gets Marion an easy layup. Here Nash runs a pick and pop with James Jones, and when Brown goes to him, he could simply pass it to Jones for an open 3, or he can drive baseline and find DL. Here Nash will attack Brown off a screen and roll and hit a 12 foot jumper. Okay, let's move on to what happens when the defense switches the screen and roll. And here you'll notice Kwame Brown switches on to Nash, so Nash simply sizes him up and hits a jumper. Here it's Barbosa who gets a switch, and he blows by his defender with a nasty hesitation crossover. Again the Lakers switch, which forces Kobe to guard Boris Diaw. Nash sees the mismatch, and he passes it to Diaw, who scores over Kobe in the post. Here again the Lakers switch, and it's Tim Thomas this time who posts up and scores over Kobe. Once again, a switch on the screen and roll, and again they go into DL in the post, and watch how Nash will pass it to DL, cut through, there's great movement and spacing, DL passes it out, and they eventually get Marion for an open 3. Off a switch, DL will again get a post up against a smaller player, and this time the Lakers will double him, and look at this fantastic spacing by Phoenix. Every player is spaced out perfectly, this is textbook, but the Lakers also rotate in a textbook manner, and they force an in-close miss. Same setup where LA will switch the screen and roll, Phoenix will go into DL, and once again LA doubles DL, and because of this, Phoenix has a 2-1-1 on, -on, on the weak side, so Marion nicely cuts inside, drawing a Laker defender, and DL makes a nice skip pass to Tim Thomas. Once again, Phoenix gets a switch, and Nash gets it to DL in the post, and DL will eventually get it back out to Nash, who attacks the mismatch in Kwame Brown, and they move it very well, and they eventually get a wide open 3 for Tim Thomas. The Suns also often rescreen many times to get the best look possible, but here is an unfortunate scenario where they do that, but they run out of time and are forced into a tough miss. Different camera angle, and notice how well spaced Nash and DL are on a typical screen and roll, this is very tough to defend. Now let's talk about their offensive sets, and there weren't many, which actually is kind of nice because it's simple, but here they seem to run a set where Marion will get a flare screen, and it gets open, but he's not a great shooter and bricks it. Here they run a simple pin down, and when the shooter isn't open, the most common action is to get a post up for the screener, which they do here, and Tim Thomas can score. Horns is an offensive set with the point guard with the ball up top, two high post players, and two wings in the corner. Here the Suns run the basic screen away action where Nash will hit the high post and he'll receive a flex screen on the opposite side. They eventually flow into a screen and roll and Nash finds DL. Again they run the screen away action, but here Nash can simply cut around DL for a handoff and two points. Here's a variation out of Horns where Nash will hit the high post then screen away for Tim Thomas, and he gets an open 3. Not a set play here, but just great stuff, as they'll get it to DL in the post, James Jones will cut around him, Barbosa will receive a screen on the weak side, this is all great movement and takes the attention off DL, and here DL takes advantage and scores. 
Well, there you have it, guys. If a team has the right personnel, this is a great offense and it keeps things simple. Players will have fun in it, and if it's run right and you have a good defense, you'll win a lot of games. Well, thanks for watching and see you next time.